crap, are we on? Oh, okay. Well then, let's do this. Hey, what is up guys? Eric here today. Uh, sorry about the sound quality, it might be a little bit uh, bad right now. But yeah, Eric here today, we are uh, riding my Halo board. And uh, yeah, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, telling you guys the pros and cons. I'm gonna try to do five of each, five pros, five cons. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna tell you guys the pros and cons of the Halo board. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you guys uh, if if I can't make uh, five cons, then I will recommend this skateboard. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'll scuff up my shoes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That, that is totally fine. Okay. Well, let's get into this video. So, um, one a pro. We're gonna go over the pros, and then I'll go over a con, and then a pro, and then a con, and a pro, and a con, until we get to five pros and five cons. <laughs> so then we'll end with a con, and if it, we can't think of another one, uh, if I can't think of another one, then yeah. Uh, if you guys want to uh, tell me about some more cons or pros, pros or cons, uh, just comment down below in the video, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go over that. Um, and I'll definitely uh, pin your comment. Whoever says it first, whoever says the best pros that I think that you just said, uh, and I'll pin it. I'll heart it. I'll even like your comment. So yeah, but. Um, also, I'll give you a shout out if you guys can think about any other ones. So yeah, let us let let's uh, get into this video. So, starting off with the first pro, it's a Halo board. <laughs> That's all I can say about the first pro. I mean, I mean, I guess I can say a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it is a Halo board. A Halo board is a very trusted company when it comes to hoverboards and obviously electric skateboards. Here, I'm gonna sit down. Oh, it's awfully cold out here. <sighs> okay, moving on. So, uh, yeah, so it is a Halo board. So that's something you can consider uh, when purchasing this. A lot of great reviews for the Halo board. I've actually only had one problem with it. Uh, here's moving on with the first con. Uh, that is the remote. The remote is made out of a very cheap uh, material. It feels very good. This is like like rubbery plastic of some sort. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is actually it oh it actually is my second remote. This button comes off. I, I mean I can try to take it off right now. Uh, the button comes off. This little protection for the screen comes off too. Um, I don't know. It's it drops very easily, not much grip, very slippery. And the flashlight is bright, but not very bright. It's very, it's, it's okay. But it's like if you're driving a sports car and you're thinking, hey, where's all the luxury? Or you're driving a Mustang and you're thinking, hey, where's all the luxury? Well, <laughs> go return that car and get like a luxurious car. I mean, honestly, Honestly, the skateboard is very fast and everything. Uh, yeah. So, moving on to uh, con number or pro number uh, two. The skateboard is very fast, and I really like the slow mode. How it goes 11 miles per hour, probably max. I think it was or 13. One of those uh, depends on your weight. Um, and then the fast mode it goes 23 miles an hour, and that's like pretty good. So yeah. Um, the screen is very helpful. Uh, it tells you the power of the remote and the power of the board and it tells you how many miles you've gone uh, and the uh, I haven't gone 34 miles that's like it's it kind of hard to explain but if you know what that is oh do you, oh then uh, yeah uh, it tells you uh, the max you've gone uh, the last like top speed that you went so you went I went 10 miles an hour and uh, it tells you your exact speed at the moment. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, there's a scratch right there. It's it's not a very good remote. Not really. But it is a better remote than the older one where it didn't have the screen. 
and it didn't have a flashlight. Uh, all it had was the forward, brakes, and fast and slow mode. But yeah, uh, moving on to a condo. This, the remote, the range is straight up horrible. I have fallen off of the board maybe, almost fallen off of it like three times because of the range of the remote to the board. While I was going about 20, I think, 19 to 20 miles an hour, um, the I tried to hit the brakes and it wouldn't go, and I just kept going. I was about to hit a speed bump because I can't go over speed bumps on a skateboard. I was about to go over a speed bump and I couldn't hit the brakes, and you know, we don't want that to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, you, that's a that's a con about that. It's It's a very scary thing. I actually reported it to the Halo board, and they uh, told me to resync or unsync the uh, the uh, remote to the board, and then uh, sync it back up again. And that actually worked perfectly. But then it happened again. So I don't know if this is a problem. I I honestly don't. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Honestly. It's just a problem that I can't really do much about right now. That is a con about it. But don't be too scared, cause um, I have I've I've gone pretty uh, hard on this remote uh, because I've been making a video on uh, how much it can take and everything. As you can see it's a little dirty. Uh, the wheels are a little bit dirty. It's all wet and everything. I just did that, uh, you know, cause. Gotta not gotta know how good this board is, and it's been uh been working pretty well. One thing that did happen is I was riding, and it, the the ground was like super wet, like it is now. Uh, except it was actually a little bit wetter, like actual big puddles of water. And I was literally riding the skateboard, and it started in it started making this really weird noise. Oh crap. And, uh, it was a really weird noise. I don't know what it was. Um, and then I got off of it, unsynced it, and then I got back on it. And it started, like, moving like a car that, like, was breaking down. Like, it was going and then stopping and going and stopping and going, stopping, going, stopping. And that just kept happening over and over and over again. And I just, I don't know, I really hated that. I don't know what was happening. Honestly, I have no idea what happened, but basically what I did was I unsynced the remote again and uh, Completely reset the skateboard and that all uh, was fixed in the end but um, I Don't know that's a really bad thing about that uh, Oh my gosh, did I skip? Oh, I did okay. Well, I skipped the pro for this Oh, wow. Okay, well, uh, I'll go ahead and say a pro right now, uh, and then we'll just get back on uh, order, on the, the order that we were in. So I think we've done, I've done three cons and two pros, so I need one more pro, and then two more pros and two more cons. So yeah. So go ahead, uh, criticize me in the comments below. Please do that. That makes me happy. Please do that. That makes me so happy at the end of the day please that kills me okay but uh anyways uh, uh here's a pro about the skateboard um it's made out of carbon fiber which is a very durable material and honestly all i knew about carbon fiber is fiber carbon fiber is that it was like super super durable but i also thought it was scratch resistant and i learned that the hard way that it's not I don't know if you can see right there, but there's scratches from when it hit the wall and stuff. Like, if I accidentally went forward a little bit, it hit the wall, scratched it. Um, here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here on the edges, the skateboard flipped over on its, uh, it's like, top, on the top of the skateboard, the actual board of it. And it completely just scratched it up. It was horrible. Uh, not scratch resistant. Not scratch resistant. That's the con of that. Uh, but it's very, very durable. Like, it's gonna get super scratched up. But if I throw it up in the air, it's literally not gonna break at all. 
like any other skateboard if you threw it, throw it up in the air like really high and then it would completely snap in half. This skateboard, no sir, yeah, no, that just wouldn't happen. But uh, yeah, uh, one thing to know about this skateboard, you don't want to get the skateboard super wet because the motors are actually inside the wheels, which is really cool. Which um, in in some way is actually really good. I just don't know exactly how. But I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's little orange, like, bars inside uh, that, like, you would see normally on a motor on anything, uh, electric motor on anything. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I think, I think this has the, a, uh, Samsung battery in it, or it might have an original battery from their actual Halo board, uh, company. But I think it has a Samsung battery in it. And that's pretty good. I mean, I have a Samsung phone. It's never failed me. Um, um, so, yeah, that is... So, now we need one more pro and one more con. So... Oh, wow. Okay, I can think of another pro. Because I, I know I, have it, I had it in my head this whole time. Um, but I can't seem to think of another con. So I would have to re recommend this skateboard. Even if I did think of another con, I would still recommend this skateboard just because I'm so happy with it. Spending the $1,000 was freaking happy. I was just, I was so happy. I was just so happy about that. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go over the um, last pro and uh, we can get on with the video. So starting off with the last uh, a pro, um, I would say it would be the hmm, to think about it. That is that is a very hard pro to think of, but I'm pretty sure I'll think of one just because I love this skateboard. So uh, we'll just think of. Hmm. It's top rated safety, but. That's not really a pro, specifically at the skateboard. That's a rate that somebody rated. Um, I don't know. I have to think about that. That is very interesting. That I can't even think of another pro. But I'm pretty sure I'll think of one. Um, maybe. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, man, that is so hard. <laughs> I mean, I've already said the speed, that's really fast. Oh, look, 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 you see that? Oh my god, oh my god, I got it on video. Look at that, I'm going freaking full speed and it just lost connection out of nowhere. I was going like full speed on slow mode and it lost connection out of nowhere. That's, that's one of the features where, the feature, one of the things where it loses connection and that sucks really bad. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, well... I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'll think of one. Um, you can't really do tricks on the board just because it's a long board. Um, oh, oh yeah, it's a long board. Um, some electric skateboards out there aren't actually long boards. Uh, the boosted board, I think, is a long board. And I think the end board, no, the end board is a regular skateboard. Uh, but the boosted board is actually a long board and the skateboard. So, I'm not saying go buy the boosted board right now just because it's a long board. But I am saying that the Halo board is a long board. You should go buy this right now. Seriously. It's a great freaking skateboard. I don't even... Oh, my God. It is so great. Okay. Okay, obviously, this is in my opinion. But, uh... The lot of people who say they like it, too. I mean... Before you, uh... Buy a product, you want to check the reviews first and see if you like it, you know? And, uh, or see if they, see if people like to maybe, like, compare the reviews, see if they were helpful, and all that. Uh, see if the staff, uh, actually responded. So that's, if they actually responded, that's actually very good. Uh, if they did, that's fine. That's not super, super important. But yes, it's a longboard. So longboards are typically easier than regular skateboards. And it, it was actually, I think, in 2014, I actually read up on this. It was rated the easiest type of skateboard. Uh, 
easiest type of like regular skateboard, but it's a longboard. I mean, they have a skateboard that's way easier, and it's just the board with no wheels. And they also have a skateboard that use uh, tracks, like tank tracks. Uh, those are like the easier skateboards, but those aren't actually exactly skateboards. That is a vehicle of its own. But uh, yeah, um, longboards are very good skateboards. Honestly, when I turn on this, I just love going back and forth, back and forth. But once again, here I am again, blurting out my opinion and everything. And I know that's not good. But, uh, yeah. Those, that was my pros and cons video. No, uh, I, uh, I recommend this product uh, a lot. So, yeah. Please, I hope you enjoyed that video today. Um, blah, blah, blah. uh, Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, Eric is, I'm out.